go I'm just living for the moment I'm just living for the moment I'm just living for the moment Hey I'm just living for the moment I'm living for the moment So why not enjoy it I'm just living for the moment I'm just living for the moment I'm just living for the moment Hey What's up everybody it's your man's KJ the Great dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's get to it. So, last week I gave you guys my week eight predictions on who would win, who would lose uh, week eight in the NFL. Um, and to sum it up pretty quick, I got about eight games right, seven games wrong. Um, a couple of games, uh, excuse me, a couple of games that I did get right was uh, Bills versus the Packers, obviously. Um, you know, Eagles over the Steelers. Uh, one that I didn't really uh, think would happen was uh, the Cardinals losing to the Vikings. I just kind of felt like, uh, you know, they got the pieces back and they may do something, but... Anyway, we're going to get into week nine right off the bat. Um, and who I think is going to win, going to lose. Uh, the trade deadline is pretty much done. It's already set. Uh, teams been trading here and there, swapping picks, swapping players, everything. So we're going to get into week nine and uh, we're going to see. I'm going to give you guys who I think is going to win. We're going to start with the Eagles versus the Texans. I fully expect the Eagles to keep it rolling, uh, win that game big uh, on the counter of that defense and that offense. The Eagles, they got some uh, pieces to the trade on that defense. Um, so look for them to keep that rolling. Then you have the Patriots versus the Colts. I'm going to take the Patriots in this one. Not really an upset or, you know, any of that, but just uh, I'm going to take the Patriots in that one. Uh, then you have the uh, Lions versus the Packers. Some people may call this an upset, some people may not, but I'm going to take the Lions over the Packers. Um, that offense can score, but that defense needs work. Um, the Lions, they just traded away uh, Hickerson, I believe his name is. Um, so we'll see how that affects them, but I'm going to take the Lions. We'll call that one of the upsets of the week. Uh, the next game we'll talk about is the Chargers uh, versus the Falcons. I'm going to take the Chargers. Um, look for the Chargers to win this a pretty close game. Uh, they got some guys back in the lineup, but <clears throat> ultimately I believe they're the better team. Then we have the Bills versus the Jets. I'm taking the Bills. I mean... <laughs> The Bills, we're going to just leave it at that. It's the Bills over the Jets. Then we have the Vikings versus the Commanders. I'm going to take the uh, Vikings over the Commanders. Uh, better offense. Uh, they did a, a few things on defense. Uh, look for the Vikings to win this comfortably. Then we have the Panthers versus the Bengals. I'm going to take the Panthers in this one. Uh, this will be a get-back game for them. They almost won that last game. Dude took his helmet off, cost them, you know, 15 yards, missed a 48-yard extra point. Um, we'll take the Panthers in this one, close game as well. Uh, then we have the Raiders versus the Jaguars. I'm going to take the Jaguars, man. Um, the Raiders, I don't know what it is they need. I don't know what it is they need to do. Some people are saying they need a new quarterback. Some people they saying they need offensive coordinators. Some people they just saying they need an overhaul on the offensive end or defensive end or whatever the case may be. Um, but uh, on paper, they still look good. But it's just, I, I'm going to take the Jaguars. Not that the Jaguars are a better team or anything. It's just the uh, Raiders, they don't seem to have any momentum going right now. They don't seem to have anything going. So I'm going to take the Jaguars over the Raiders. Uh, then we have the Dolphins over the Bears. I'm going to take the Dolphins. Um, Tools back, played pretty good last week. I um, wouldn't say 100% uh, great, but he played really good. He just needs to learn how to slide, man. I watched a couple highlights of dude was out there just running like he ain't just come off of a uh, concussion injury. So, uh, but I'll take the uh, Dolphins over the Bears. Um, 
Bears, they need some work. They traded away a bunch of defensive pieces and some trade picks uh, and got some draft picks, but they just need some work. Um, then we have the Cardinals and the Seahawks. Uh, this is a divisional rivalry game that I'm familiar with because my team is in that division. It's always good, but I'm going to take the Cardinals and a get-back game, get back, right the ship somewhat. Um, people have been sleeping on Geno Smith, man. I'm, I'll be honest, I've slept on Geno Smith, but uh, I'm not going to sleep on him to win this game, but I'm going to take the Cardinals to get back right. You know, this is that one game where they just get it right and they kind of start making something into some type of uh, – Former playoff team, we'll say that. Uh, then we have the Titans versus the Chiefs. I'm taking the Chiefs. Um, the Chiefs are uh, playing pretty good. They're playing really good. I ain't gonna say pretty good. They're playing really good. Uh, so look for the Chiefs to win this one, maybe uh, you know, 31, 17, something like that. Chiefs win that game. Uh, then we have the Ravens, um, I'm excuse me, the Rams versus the Bucks. The Bucks are coming out to LA. Um, it's kind of a tough one because both teams have been playing like crap, and as y'all can see, I'm a St. Louis Rams fan, uh, but I call it like I see it. Um, so with this one, I'm gonna say the Rams win a close one, uh, it won't be high scoring because neither of these teams are what they once was a season ago or two seasons ago, so maybe 17 10 Rams. Um, that's only if we can figure out somebody else other than Cooper Cup. But I'm going to stick with the Rams in this one. Then we have the Ravens versus the Saints. I fully expect the Ravens to win this game, win this game pretty comfortably. Uh, Lamar Jackson is still having a really good year. Um, he's still in the MVP talks. In my opinion, I will give it to him. Um, he's playing for a contract pretty much, uh, betting on himself. So look for the Ravens to uh, win that game, win that game comfortably. Um, but that's all I got for you guys for week nine of who I think will win in the NFL. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, be sure to share these videos on all social media. Follow me on Instagram at All Sports Media TV. Follow me on my other Instagram at KJTheGreat09. Make sure you guys like and share these videos. That's all I got. Peace.